a house fire possible, someone trapped inside the residence, two people trapped inside the residence. We'll have all units respond to emergency. Go ahead and balance this one. Well, October 6, 2022, I was riding up on truck 22. I had Firefighter Nun driving for me. In the back was Firefighter Harold and uh, Firefighter Delerba. Call came in about 6.53, structure fire, possible entrapment. Bystander reports that it's a duplex on fire, uh, possibly two inside, and then he said it was fully engulfed. So for us, we rarely run fully engulfed houses. There's usually some searchable space. So I told the guys in the rig, um, maybe think about VES on this one. So yeah, when we talk about vent enter search or vent enter isolate search, basically we're using uh, an entry point other than a door. And in our case, it's mostly usually gonna be a window. So if I've got heavy fire that's blocking off my entrance into a door, I can you know, set up a ladder, climb up the second story or even a first floor, go in that window, shut the door, and that buys me some time to search around that area. Bystander did confirm there was one inside. Uh, we pulled up, there was power lines down across the road uh, into the front yard. I just told on the radio, hey, we're gonna be VES on an alpha side first floor window. Delurba knew we had to have water on the fire for the VES to be successful. He said, hey, hit above that window real quick, we're gonna VES the bedroom. As Soon as he puts water on that, that bought us time to get in. No hesitation from Firefighter Harold. He was already taking the window. Uh, you can see on the video, had thick black smoke coming out. Got up there, I grabbed a set of irons. Uh, we had an elevated window that I thought was a bedroom. I gave the guys a halligan. <laughs> they used that to get in turns out this was a converted it was a closet that led into the bedroom hero gets in there i gave him the tick uh, in my mind if i get both of my guys in there we can start an oriented search um, and just clear as much as we can fire was heavily involved at that point the entire delta side of the house from the front door to the back door was on fire so uh hero gets in there Firefighter Nunn gets up there behind him. While all this is going on, Delurba's putting water in. He gets the Mostel guys to link up with him. So he starts making a push through that front, front door. As soon as Nunn gets into the windowsill, I could hear Harold say, hey, we got a victim. Uh, he was probably about three feet from the, the closet uh, door. So I immediately told them, I said, victim, victim, victim. Uh, let them know what we had. Command to flash in property traffic, go ahead. Once we got him to the window, uh, we got him out of the window and we were uh, fairly exhausted at that point and then we went and continued our our search we went back into the bedroom to continue our search because uh, uh, we preach you know find a victim find another so we wanted to go and make sure that we did not have any more occupants in the structure that needed uh, to be taken out this, this gentleman was over 250 pounds uh, for two firefighters to be able to drag him from the bedroom into this closet up over uh, a cabinet and out of that window I mean it it took every bit of strength that they had. Uh, they were gassed, but they never quit. You know, several times at the window, I said, hey, what do you need? Do we need more people in there? They just kept bringing them. He was not breathing. He had no pulse. The crews that were out front did a phenomenal job, and this man is alive today because of their actions. Last we've heard, he was out of the burn unit. Um, they had removed the tube that they put in to help him breathe. Uh, he was alert conscious, like the, the doctors, they're expecting a full recovery.